Introduction to Information and Communication Technologies As the popular saying goes, love makes the world go round. But before you start looking for someone to fall in love with you, you could argue how the internet has made the world go round for decades. The internet has probably made your world go round. In this lesson, you will understand how information and communication technologies have improved your lives in such a short period of time. Information and Communication Technology, ICT, deals with the use of different communication technologies such as mobile phones, telephone, internet, etc. to locate, save, send, and edit information. When you make a video, we use the internet. When we send a text or make a call, we use cellular networks. When we run out of load or battery, we use payphones, which use a telephone network. In terms of economics, ICT has saved companies a lot of resources, time, and money with the kind of communication technology they use nowadays. In a similar way, we spend less because of ICT. As it normally goes as a peso to send a text message or SMS with the internet, we can send multiple messages and only be charged by a fraction. ICT in the Philippines The Philippines is dubbed as the ICT hub of Asia because of huge growth of ICT-related jobs, one of which is business process outsourcing BPO or call centers. ICT Department in the Philippines is responsible for the planning, development, and promotion of the country's information and communications technology ICT agenda in support of national development. In the data gathered by the Annual Survey of the Philippines Business and Industries, the then National Statistics Office NSO, now Philippine Statistics Authority TSA in 2010, the ICT industry shares 19.3% of the total employment population here in the Philippines. To add to these statistics, Time Magazine's The Selfiest Cities Around the World of 2013 placed two cities from the Philippines in the top 1 to 10 spots. This study was conducted using Instagram, a popular photo sharing application. With these numbers, there is no doubt that the Philippines is one of the countries that benefits most out of ICT. How many hours do you spend on the internet per day? Can you live without the internet for a week? How many aspects of your lives depend on the internet? How many times have you complained about your internet connection speed? As teenagers, you are all exposed to many things powered by the internet, whether it is socializing, playing games, reading sports, news, shopping, etc. The internet has given you one of the most powerful tools that your parents during their teenage years did not have. Because of this, do you not think that it is also important to wield this powerful tool properly, without proper training, a swordsman can easily injure himself when wielding a sword. The same could be said for you whenever you use the internet. The Static Web Page and Dynamic Web Page Static Web Page It is known as a flat page or stationary age in the sense that the page is as is and cannot be manipulated by the user. The content is also the same for all users that is referred to as Web 1.0. Dynamic Web Page The user is able to see website differently 
than others. Example, social networking sites, wikis, video sharing sites. The evolution of Web 1.0 Examples, the social networking sites, blogs, wikis, and video sharing sites. The key features of Web 2.0 Taxonomy allows the user to categorize and classify or arrange information using freely chosen keywords. Example is the tagging. Popular social networking sites such as Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, etc. use tags that start with a pound sign or hashtag. The rich user interface. The content is dynamic and is responsive to users' input. An example would be a website that shows local content. In the case of social networking sites, when logged on, your account is used to notify what you see in their web page. The user participation. The owner of website is not the only one who is able to put content. Others are able to put content on their own by means of comments, reviews, and evaluation. Long tail. Services are offered on demand rather than on a one-time purchase. This is synonymous to subscribing to a data plan that charges you for the amount of time you spent on internet or a data plan that charges you for the amount of bandwidth you used. The Web 3.0 and Semantic Web Vastness The World Wide Web already contains billions of web pages. Bigness Certain words are imprecise. The words old and small would depend to the user. The logic Since machines use logic, there are certain limitations for a computer to be able to predict what the user is referring to at a given time. Trend in information, communication, and technology. Convergence is the synergy of technological advancements to work on a similar goal or task. For example, besides using your personal computer to create Word documents, you can now use your smartphones. Social Media It is a website application or online channel that enables web users to create, co-create, discuss, modify and exchange user-generated content. Mobile Technologies The popularities of smartphones and tablets has taken a major rise over the years. This is largely because of the device's capability to do the tasks that were originally found in PCs. Assistive Media It is a non-profit service designed to help people who have visual and reading impairments. A database of audio recordings is used to read to the end user. The six types of social media. Social networks. These are sites that allows you to connect with other people with the same interest or once the user creates his or her account, he or she can set up a profile, add people, share content, and etc. Examples, the Facebook and the Google+. Plus. Bookmarking sites. These are sites that allows you to store and manage links to various websites and resources. Most of these sites allows you to create a tag and others can easily share them. Examples, the StumbleUpon and Pinterest. Social news. These are sites that allow users to post their own news items or links to other news sources. The users can also comment on the post and comments may also be ranked and examples, the Reddit and the D.
media sharing. These are sites that allows you to upload and share media content like images and music. Examples, Flickr, YouTube, and Instagram. Microblogging. These are sites that focus on short updates from those that subscribe to the user will be able to receive these updates. Examples, the Twitter and Plark. Blogs and forums. These websites allow users to post and able to comment on the said topic. Examples, Blogger, WordPress, and Tumblr. Introduction to Information and Communication Technologies 